What is an RSS campaign? An RSS campaign, which stands for Real Simple Syndication, is the process of pulling content from a blog feed and sending it to your email subscribers on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. What that means is that once you publish a blog post, your subscribers will automatically get that post into their email depending on when you schedule that feed update. This saves you loads of time to do things like laundry, reading a book, or playing with your cat. I'm going to show you how to do an RSS campaign using MailChimp. So here we are in MailChimp and we are under campaigns. We're going to create a campaign and we can name this whatever we want. Let's call it RSS campaign. And let's choose RSS, which is the last option. Hit create. The next screen is the RSS feed and the send timing. So here we enter in the feed URL, and in my situation, it's http colon slash slash www.thisdesigngirl.com slash feed. Now, if you don't know what your RSS feed URL is, all you have to do is follow their instructions, enter the URL of your blog, and we'll try to find it for you. So let's say I don't know what it is. I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to enter in just my URL. And then it's just going to find it for me. So let's see if that works. Let's hit next. And then let's go back to see if it picked it up. And it did. So it added the feed after the .com. So the next thing you want to do is just pick a time and date when you want to send it. So is it every day, every week, or every month? and what times you want it to go, and select the dates that you want them to go out. So if you're using a template, if you want it to fit the template, you can just click this button right here. So I'm just gonna leave that unchecked for now and then hit next at the bottom right. So here is the recipient window and all we're gonna do is just check which list we wanna send it to. So let's just send it to the entire list. Hit next again. And here is the setup page. So campaign name is RSS campaign. Email subject is what the subject is going to be called when they get the email. So it's going to say posts from, and here is the tag. It's going to pull up the title of your post, and then it's going to pull up the date of the post. Now you can change this if you want. You can change it to latest post from, and you can get rid of the date. Um, you can totally customize this part. Now, another feature it has is the emoji support. So for example, if you are selling clothes, you can you know, put a clothing icon, you could put a smiley face, you could put whatever type of emojis you want. Now I've tried using the emojis and the only downside to that is I'm not sure if it's contributing to these campaigns going into spam. So when I tried sending it to myself, I noticed that if I didn't put the emojis on, it didn't go into the spam box. It went in just into my inbox or my promotional folder box. Anyway, it's up to you. You could try the emojis and you can send some test email to yourself to see where it goes in your inbox. And the from name, this design girl, and my email address. And depending if you are on a paid account with MailChimp or just a free account, these are the other options that you can enable. Social media will auto-tweet and auto-post to Facebook if you want to connect these two options. And more options just regarding auto-converting for video. So when you're done all that, let's hit next. And here we want to select our templates. So I have another video that actually shows you how to create a standard MailChimp campaign. And you can also reference that when you come to this part where it says to select a template. So let's just select the basic one here. Let's do the one column. So here on my left is how the email is going to look like. And here on the right are just the assets that you can plug and play into your RSS campaign. So let's start off with the RSS header. Let's drag that up into here. And basically, this is the tag that's going to pull up the feed title. So I'm just going to leave that as is. And we can just drop a header image. Let's just try my logo. And I've already uploaded some design assets on here already. So let's just click on that one here, hit insert. There's my logo. 
You can also customize whatever is in this box. So if I want it to say something else, I can put latest post from this design girl. Hit save and close. And here I'm going to delete this because I want the RSS items, meaning the feed. So let's delete this block and add the RSS items into here. And basically what this is, is the first line is your title. Second line is your content. And then there's going to be a link that lets the user click onto your website to read the rest of the post. And then it's going to end the RSS items. Now, if I want to change this, I don't want it to be just an excerpt. I can make the full content. So this will have the entire blog post as well as my recent articles here. I can have just the title only, or I can make something custom. And here is where you will add your own custom RSS tags. And to find that, you can just click on this link, RSS merge tags, and it's going to tell you what and where to insert. So this explains to you what each tag means. So if you want to customize it, you can just add these custom merge tags into your window here. So I'm going to go with just the excerpt because I want the user to click onto my website. Hit save and close. Now I can add other things here like the divider and other images if I want. Let's say I'm promoting something new like a book or something. I can put it down here and it's going to show up on each blog post that I send. So these are permanent fixtures until you change them out. And the ones where it just says RSS items, these are going to change every time that a post sends out. Now, if you want to learn how to design just a standard campaign, I have the link to my other video in the information section of this YouTube video. So you can reference that when you are designing the rest of this campaign. Now, before you send out, make sure that you preview and test it. You can enter the preview mode. And here it is. It's pulling up my last blog post. And you will also want to send a test email to yourself just to make sure everything is good. And once you are done, you hit next. Make sure all of these are green check marks and then hit start RSS. And that's basically how you do the RSS campaign.